excited now because I've been buying Teng tool stuff for years and it's a, a dream that Teng have actually bothered sending me of all people anything. Tom got a little bit excited yesterday, he started to open it and I was like, no stop, we got to do a video. So yeah, now the, the moment has finally come that we can unbox it and to have a look at what they've actually sent us because I sent him a sort of wish list how to how we can make the team more efficient so it'll be, be interesting if they uh, sent us everything I uh, dreamed for or asked for uh, Christmas again? Really? I can't remember everything I always bought. So basically, this one is a 140 newton meter to 918 newton meter tall wrench. And in the past, I would actually borrow one from a local company to, to do the rear hub nuts up and, and so on so it's really cool that, that we have a new massive huge torque wrench so this is quite good for if we have a puncture or something on the road that we can actually safely torque the, the, the wheel nuts back up so this is going to be a life saver no matter what, what the scenario is. So there's some stuff here that, so Teng do a lot of tools for obviously the mechanical sector but also for the fabri fabrication side of stuff so we've ordered a lot of stuff which is a sort of combination of everything so some stuff we really really need and other stuff we, we have ordered so we can have maybe two of one, one type so we can have, either leave them in the workshop or if Tom's working with a set square that we can actually uh, share or not share but I can be using one, Tom can be using one so just to make the whole workshop a lot more efficient um, we got some huge water pump pliers everyone calls these slightly different but I call them water pump pliers these are basically for doing gearbox changes so we can actually turn the input shaft by hand without trapping your fingers as we're sliding the, the, the gearbox up to the bell housing so these are going to be a lifesaver. Uh, I don't know what to do now. Do we spread everything out and look at it all? Or it'll take me hours to unbox this so uh, I'm really 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 excited. So uh, this is cool. This is really cool. so we can see everything and uh, get the toolbox out so I think that's the biggest sort of part in there and 
then once his pallet's empty, it's crazy to say he got another pallet to go through. Uh, I roughly think I know what's in them, but we'll keep going and yeah, we'll just end up with it all over the floor and then we'll organise it and you can see what we've got off them and, and I'll go through the reasons why we got some stuff as well. So yeah. even got completely new toolbox which uh, to my knowledge isn't that old from Teng and basically it's like a size in between the one we have now and then my big one uh, and the reason why this is means so much to us is uh, we can actually fit it works out a lot more tools in it's not technically the same space, but we have a space in the race trailer which is uh, specifically for the toolbox, and this one fits in like perfectly now. So we end up getting like an extra half a toolbox uh, space, so which is uh, pretty cool. And then the good thing with all the trays and uh, like assortments, they all interconnect and then they fit perfectly into the into the drawers and everything's a really good quality and you can put lots of weight in and i've got no no fears of the the bearings of anything so from that side it's really cool and then you've got two deep ones so you can get lots of uh, like the air tools and so on in there so we'll get the wheels on and yeah see see uh, if we can make sense of all this and get it mostly back into the so the toolbox is all together. The quite a cool thing on this one compared to the others is you can only open one drawer at a time, which is really good. Cool, so you can't sort of have all the weight and it tip over. So that's perfect for even just for transporting in the race trailer. So if one drawer opens by uh, accident or by coincidence, we don't arrive at a race circuit. It'll all be on the side. So now I have to go through all of this. Um, and sort of get it into this toolbox to make sure it works. We have a, a few modifications to make to the toolbox. So we want to mount the cable tie uh, holder onto the side. Um, and we also got sent a, a blue paper roll holder for the side as well, which is really cool. So that will save some space. But yeah, we'll go through this. We'll make sure uh, we get so it's a working system and we get used to the toolbox because you don't want to go to a race circuit and be like, oh, where's this? 27 mil spanner, at least then me and Tom we know exactly where everything is so I personally want to say a huge huge thank you to Tank for supporting us to, to working with us and, and to sort of make it better for the future hopefully for all the commercial vehicle guys all the heavy duty guys so uh, we'll keep pushing and uh, we'll have some short videos coming up where we actually use the toolbox at the race weekend and uh, we'll probably do some small um, product videos because obviously there's that much variety just here that we can't sort of go through everything. Uh, I mean, tools would use directly would be the, the grips for fabricating. So we've got some quick action G clamps, which are really cool. So that's perfect for like standard fabrication. Uh, and yeah, there's, there's that many different ones that yeah, I, 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 I want to say this will be the best tool but the fact is they're all yeah, they're all perfect so yeah, I can't thank Teng enough. We'll put a link in the description uh, directly to Teng's website so if you just want to have a quick look and go through it all it's uh, more more information on every tool there so yeah, thanks for watching and we'll have some more coming to you soon.